Denzel Washington is a legend who has left his mark in the movie industry. He has time after time proven himself to be an undisputed top actor by giving us classic movies while delivering superb performances. His versatility is seen in how contrasting the characters he has played are, whether it's a cop, a lawyer, or a civil rights icon, he delivers and has won numerous awards as a testament to his greatness. Let us look at Denzel Washington's top 10 movies. Before we get started, please like the video and subscribe for more great content. Also, if you want to help us keep this content going and free forever, please check out our Patreon page in our store. Our next Patreon goal is to provide our first book scholarship for at least one student attending a historical black college or university. Everything you need is in the description below. Number 10, Glory. Glory is the movie that won Denzel his first Oscar in the role of supporting actor, which is already a testament to how great his performance is. He adeptly plays the role of Private Tripp, a runaway slave who was a member of an all-black regiment that fought in the Civil War. He was rebellious and full of angst, and was constantly an agent of chaos. Washington shines in this role, and stills the limelight not minding the fact that he's a supporting actor. Though a supporting actor, Washington is the emotional conscious of the film, and helps carry the message of the film. Number 9, Police Cry Freedom. I'm talking about the indirect violence you get through starvation in the townships. I'm talking about the hopelessness, the desolation of the transit camps. Now, I think that, all put together, that constitutes more terrorism than the words these men have spoken here, but they stand charged. <laughs> and white society is not charged. Washington portrays Stephen Biko, a South African activist who was martyred. Denzel brings to life the hero and displays his charisma, wit, and intelligence in this apartheid drama. He gives much life and character to the movie. Cry Freedom is a historical account by a white journalist Donald Woods who was a friend of Biko. This movie earned Denzel his first Oscar nomination. Number eight, he got game. They may let me out on an early parole. So that's what this is all about, huh? That's a part of it. That's Jake, you just like everybody else. I like everybody else. I ain't like everybody else. Everybody else ain't your father. Everybody else ain't bring you in this world. Everybody else don't care about you, son. This sports drama is a Spike Lee joint. Denzel plays a con who was released early on parole by the state's governor in a bid to get him to convince his son to play for the governor's alma mater. A tale of pride, shame, and mending broken bonds. It takes us on a wonderful trip which is more accentuated by Washington's excellent performance and Lee's excellent direction. Number 7, Crimson Tide. Operating procedures governing the release of nuclear weapons. We cannot launch our missiles unless both you and I agree. Uh, now, what are you waiting for? Me, sir. This is expressly why your command must be repeated. It requires my assent. I do not give it. Crimson Tide details the struggle between two men in charge of a submarine who have differences in ideologies. Denzel plays second in command to a sadistic captain of the submarine, while he was more grounded and compassionate. The movie takes place during the political turmoil in Russia, and there was a threat of nuclear attack on Japan and the United States. We witness a fiery and remarkable exchange of dialogue. As we all know, once Washington gets dialogue worthy of his acting skills, it will always be exciting to watch. Number six, The Equalizer. This, yeah. My rook. Bog is nice. What did you say? Uh, I don't fucking know. Can I see it? Oh, you want to see my gun? Uh, uh, yes and no. <laughs> Denzel takes on the role of an anti-hero in this thrilling action movie. He plays a former Special Forces agent who is on a mission to settle something about his past. He delivers a wonderful performance as he adeptly switches from calm and collected to unbridled violence against injustice. Washington reprised his role in a sequel, which he has never done because he loved the movie. For anyone who wants to see one of the greatest actors to ever live in an action movie, this is the one to see. Number five, hydraulics. flight. Senator, this is Subject 227. We've lost our hydraulics and feels like our pitch control. Subject 227, Turn on the back. The story follows a pilot who has an alcohol and drug addiction who successfully lands an airplane that had a mechanical failure. The movie demands range from its actors, which Denzel delivers. He accurately depicts the range of emotions the pilot, Whip Whitaker, feels from bravado to fear to anguish and how this all comes together in an exhilarating Oscar-nominated performance. Number four, The Hurricane. 
you trying to pin a murder jacket on me. I'm like, I got news for you, you don't fit. I'm gonna take your black ass down, Mr. Fucking Champion of the World. I got your black fucking champion right between my legs. Hurricane is a biographical drama in which Washington plays the role of Reuben, a boxer who was wrongly convicted and spent two decades imprisoned. As you would expect of a man wrongly imprisoned, we see rage, despair, and hopelessness. And Denzel brings all that to our screens and delivers with an unimaginable conviction. His performance in the sports drama film earned him another nomination for an Academy Award. Number three, Mo Better Blues. Mo Better Blues is a jazz drama that follows a jazz trumpeter who is very talented but self-absorbed and later fumbles his relationship and career. The movie details a power struggle, loyalty, and friendship in a jazz band. We see Denzel act as a man caught in between places, while still commanding stage presence with charisma and grace. Washington's performance was simply amazing in this film. Number 2. Training Day 23 hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. You'll never see the light of day. Who the fuck you think you fucking with? I'm the police. I run shit here. You just live here. Yeah, that's right. You better walk away. Go on, walk away, because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Training Day is the movie that won Washington his second Oscar, a win that was well-deserved with the quality of performance he gives. The film is a crime thriller, that follows a corrupt cop named Alonzo Harris who takes on a rookie to train him. It is unclear to us whether Harris is an evil character, and this is due to the top-notch performance by Denzel as he keeps us in the shadows. Denzel's performance is notable, quotable, and easily recognizable for any moviegoer. There is no line in movies that is more fun to say than, King Kong ain't got ish on me. Number one, Malcolm X. <laughs> yes, there's gonna be a racial explosion. Yes. And a racial explosion is more dangerous than an atomic explosion. There's going to be an explosion because black people are dissatisfied. They're dissatisfied not only with the white man, but with these Uncle Tom Negro... Malcolm X is one of Denzel's most important performances as he plays a civil rights activist Malcolm X. Denzel brings the character to life in this biopic as he shows us all the faces of Malcolm, from a hustler to a leader. His mannerisms and change as we watch the character develop in and how he soaked up the character is something that has achieved by only the most talented actors. To say his performance in this film was excellent would be an understatement. Denzel carried the movie in a way that many actors simply cannot. In our opinion, there is no better performance in all of film. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Let us know if you agree in the comments below. Also, if you want additional topics, please let us know in the comments as well. Check out our Patreon page and store to help us grow. Thanks, and talk to you next time.